The Church of the Holy Sepulchre, one of Christianity's holiest sites, is located in the Old City of Jerusalem. It is believed to be the location of both the crucifixion of Jesus Christ at Golgotha and his tomb, where Christians believed he was buried and then resurrected. Before the construction of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the site had long been a place of significance in Jerusalem. In the first century, under Roman rule, Jerusalem had a large temple dedicated to Venus or Aphrodite, built by the Roman Emperor Hadrian in the second century AD. This temple stood on what would later become the site of the church. After the conversion of the Emperor Constantine to Christianity in the early 4th century, he commissioned the construction of a Christian church on this sacred site. In the year 326 AD, Constantine's mother, Empress Helena, traveled to Jerusalem on a pilgrimage and is credited with finding the true cross, the cross on which Jesus was crucified. According to Christian tradition, Helena identified Golgotha and a nearby tomb as the locations of Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre survived for several centuries before facing significant damage. In the year 614 AD, Persian forces under King Khosro II invaded Jerusalem, damaging the church. However, it was later restored by the Byzantine Emperor Herculeus in the year 630 AD, after he reclaimed Jerusalem from the Persians. In the year 638 AD, the city of Jerusalem was captured by Muslim Arab forces under the second caliph, Umar ibn al-Khattab. Now, despite initial fears, the caliph allowed Christians to continue to worship at the church, and it remained under Christian control, though under Muslim rule. The church then fell into disrepair due to the city's changing fortunes, but it was never destroyed. In the year 1009 AD, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre faced its most significant destruction when the Fatimid Caliph of Egypt ordered its complete demolition. This event was catastrophic for Christians, and much of the original Constantine Church was destroyed, leaving only a few portions of the structure intact. In the mid-11th century, Byzantine Emperor Constantine IX negotiated with Fatimid rulers to allow the reconstruction of the church. The restoration, which began around the year 1048 AD, was more modest than the original, focusing on preserving key sections of the site, including the rotunda around Christ's tomb and the area of Golgotha. During the First Crusade, Jerusalem was captured by European forces in the year 1099, the Crusaders undertook a major reconstruction of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which had fallen into disrepair. They greatly expanded the structure, combining several smaller chapels and buildings into a larger basilica. The current layout of the church owes much to the Crusader renovation, which was completed by the year 1149 AD, marking the 50th anniversary of the Crusader conquest of Jerusalem. This version of the church consolidated several holy sites under one roof and introduced many Romanesque architectural elements. After the fall of Jerusalem to the Muslim leader Saladin in the year 1187 AD, the church remained under Islamic control. However, it continued to be a site of Christian pilgrimage, and Christians were allowed to worship there under various agreements with Muslim rulers. Over time, the church was shared between different Christian denominations, and by the 19th century, the status quo agreement was established to govern the ownership and management of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Under this agreement, the church is shared by several Christian communities, primarily the Greek Orthodox Church, the Roman Catholic Church, and the Armenian Apollistic Church, with minor responsibilities held by the Coptic Orthodox, Ethiopian Orthodox, and Syriac Orthodox churches. Throughout the 19th and 20th centuries, the church underwent several restorations, some spurred by damage from earthquakes and natural decay. In the 1950s, a large-scale renovation project was undertaken
to restore parts of the structure. In 2016, the shrine that encloses the Tomb of Christ underwent significant restoration. This project was then completed in 2017, marking a major milestone in the church's recent history. The restoration brought together various Christian denominations, demonstrating the Church of the Holy Sepulchre's ongoing importance. Today, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre remains a central site of Christian pilgrimage and worship, attracting millions of visitors each year. The church is the focal point of many Christian rituals, particularly during Holy Week and Easter, when thousands of pilgrims visit to commemorate the crucifixion and the resurrection of Christ. Despite its sometimes contentious shared ownership, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre continues to symbolize both the deep divisions and the enduring unity among the Christian communities in the Holy Land. It remains an active place of worship, prayer, and pilgrimage, symbolizing the belief in Christ's resurrection and the hope it represents for Christians worldwide.